What up ladies and gentlemen, Chen Chen here bringing you guys in our video. Today I am here with a very special video because I am going to showcase the most broken setup on Vladimir in Season 11. And guys, if you follow everything I do in this video and basically build this uh, set of build, you can get an insane win rate on Vladimir. I've been absolutely dominating every single game with this build doesn't matter what matchup doesn't matter what situation it is just so broken like i'm one of those players who will admit if a champ is broken or not and honestly it kind of hurts to say because i don't want vlad to get nerfed but i think this is seriously making vladimir broken and pretty much god tier so without further ado we're gonna go into exactly how it goes really quick uh, I know my last video, my quality wasn't of the greatest. Please let me know if this video has better. My quality, I'm testing around with new positioning. Anyways, if you find this video useful, make sure to smash the like button. Join the Crimson Pack by subscribing to the channel. Let's get right into it. Alright, so this whole premise of the build is obviously Cosmic Drive Rush. You can see through the title. But what makes it so broken is the fact that Vlad can actually rush this item riot intended this item to be a second or third uh type of item or even like fourth to you know six but definitely not first rush because they place a passive that says if you have at least 160 ability power gain 20 ability haste and movement speed so right off the bat you're like 160 ap well if you buy it you only have 89 how, how do you reach it right well, that is why this build is so broken. So I think what's very important is to actually go over the runes first. That allows you to get this. Obviously, Electrocute, you want to have Burst. You want to have Damage. Taste of Blood. Ghost Portal is super crucial to actually activate Cosmic Drive's passive. Uh, basically, whenever you place a ward and it expires, you get 2 AP. And if someone steps over it, uh, if an enemy steps over it, you get 2 additional AP. After 10 stacks, you gain 10 additional AP. Super broken. Ultimate Hunter, this is personal preference. You're getting roughly 31 ability haste on your ultimate. And obviously the R buffs uh, where they lower the cooldown. This is just so broken on Vladimir. Personally, I find that Ravenous Hunter is not needed. I feel as if there's too many anti-heal in the game. Vladimir, in no situation... Is you healing more going to actually save you? This is just really good utility. And then Magical Footwear, Cosmic Insight. This is my personal preference. And personally, I feel as if is the best. Because you're not taking Phase Rush anymore. More mobility with your boots and Cosmic Drive. And even potentially Medjai's is so, so juicy. It honestly is probably even faster than Old spy Spellbinder. So take that as you will. Uh, you, you can also run Transcendence and Nimbus Cloak. Personally, I feel as if stacking Ability Haste is not good, and that is why this build is so broken. You have a perfect, absolutely perfect mix of Ability Haste and AP and Damage and Utility, and it's just the best build alive. Please, guys, trust me. <laughs> it's so broken. So, that is that. Now for secondaries, or not secondaries, but for mini trees, I'm going for ability haste, ability power, and then whatever flex you need. Uh, if you struggle in getting cosmic drive with tempo, uh, it's passive. You can actually opt for the ability power, but the eight ability haste, like I said, I think this build is just the perfect balance of ability haste and AP. But if you do struggle, just opt for the second ability power, and that is fine. Now let's actually go into how you actually activate Cosmic Drive. It is very crucial that you build a specific way. So your starting item, you actually have to go Dark Seal or Doran's Ring. It is possible for you to get the active with Doran's Shield. However, you're going to have to build a lot more components and pretty much just delay your insane power spike of 40 AP, um, 40 ability haste that you get from Cosmic Drive. So the build goes like this you want to go cosmic drive dark seal uh starting item cosmic drive and then very important here you either go for alternator or blasting wand whatever you have more gold for so personally what i have been doing i've been getting 20 percent cdr just like the good old days with protobelt season 10 so juicy 20 percent cdr and then you can either go for alternator or blasting Wand, whatever you have more uh gold you can buy 
Alternator is really good for the burst. They both offer you the same AP, which is very crucial, but Alternator gives you a nice burst. So whatever you have more gold, and then after you buy that, after you're sitting on this, you back for the Cosmic Drive, you're going to be sitting at 145. You're like, Chen Chen, you're still missing 15. That is where Ghost Portal sits in. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's very crucial. When the game starts, you place a ward at the middle map. This works for Vlad Top 2. You just place it here. It really doesn't matter. And once you place three wards, all right, and the enemy sees it, okay, we're going to showcase right now. Once you place three wards, which is roughly around 12 minute mark, guys, you activate Ghost Portal roughly around the 12, uh, the 12 ish minute mark. So once you place three wards, you're going to be sitting at 157. Now you can either wait for the fourth ward, which isn't horrible. Um, it's not. So my math's actually wrong here. And you know, I've only played like 10 games of this, so there are going to be some complications, but I believe you can still place four wards before the 12-ish minute mark. I don't know. I have a game plan I'm going to show you guys after this uh, demo here, but either way, you can get it off of four wards or, all right, so you can get it off of four wards or you can get it actually off of Dark Seal. With the Electrocute setup, this is the perfect brawling setup and you go Ignite to just kill the enemy it is not hard for you to get one kill or even a, an assist that'll help you get the threshold so that is how you get the threshold um which is very crucial that allows vladimir to rush cosmic drive which is super insane and like i said if you're struggling with uh ghost poro or you're struggling with just a little bit of ap you can go for the ap flex or you can just build more into you know the blasting water you're gonna get it 100 percent with this sort of setup it's gonna be pretty delayed but Either way, it's still such a powerful setup, powerful power spike. And then here is how the build goes, by the way. You go Cosmic Drive, Rocket Belt. Once you get your boots, you go Sword Shoes. Um, let me actually get it from my magical footwear, just so I can demo it properly. You go Sword Shoes, you go into Rabadon's Void, and then you can either have a Finish Magis, or you can go into Zhonya's. And obviously, buy Magis whenever you need. So if your team's absolutely ending or you're in a really good spot, buy Magis before Rabadon's. But in general, it doesn't really matter. This is going to be what your finished build looks like. And like I said earlier, perfect balance between Ability Haste and Ability Power. With a fully stacked Magis, you're roughly going to have around 700 to 800 AP here. Uh, if you go for Zhonya's, you're going to miss out on quite a bit of damage. But you got that utility and... With Electrocute, rather than Phase Rush, Electrocute's really good late game because you're just able to one-shot enemies with it. It scales pretty well, and yeah, so real quick, I want to mention my Ability Haste measurements, um, which is very important. So in most games, right, you're going to have 48 off of this Power Spike. Like I said, you get it roughly around 12 to 14-ish minutes. That is equivalent to 32% CDR, which is much better than last season. It's very, very strong, and you have more AP with this sort of setup as well. And then once you get Rocket Belt, which gives you 15, this is the perfect power spike to give you 39, which is the same as 40% last season. Right? That's crazy. That's really crazy that you get the same ability haste, and you get the same sort of damage as well. Now, if you get blue buff, I'd rather not... I mean... I'll just finish it really quickly because I do have Rabadon. So if you get blue buff, you get up to 42, which is roughly the same as 45. Like I said earlier, perfect balance between ability haste and ability power. Guys, this build, in my opinion, is much better than last season's Spellbinder. I know Spellbinder will always be superior, but this build just feels extremely well. Like I said, I've been winning so many games on this build. It is so broken. And I honestly think if everyone goes this build, this setup, Vlad can easily go to S tier, 53% win rate, so insane, and probably is going to get nerfed, which is, I don't like it, but it is what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the demo. That is how to actually play this build out and absolutely dominate. Obviously, if you place more wards, you're going to get to the 30 AP threshold, which is much more AP. And yeah, now I'm going to go into a game uh, and showcase exactly how I did it. 
Not that it really matters, I kind of already explained it here, so if you guys want to stop watching the video, perfectly fine, but if you want to see a demonstration, let's get right into it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at a demo vid, um, and this is actually Clash, Tier 1 Clash, um, where we went 3-0, I absolutely popped off, but this is Clash, um, I don't think it really matters, same concept, same build, same everything, just small changes, um, so when you place a ward, I know sometimes you can place it like really early, like right now, for the ability power in lane, you get 4 ability power just for free in lane, but in this sort of environment, and especially in higher elo, it is a little bit risky because the jungler can actually just back for a sweeper and deny you that, which is so much momentum loss. And Graves actually, or not Graves, but Silas actually goes for an early sweeper in this game and does it. So it's just very important to keep in mind, but I do it at one minute. I'm not going to showcase any sort of gameplay for you guys, um, just because I don't feel as if it matters all too much. I'd rather focus on exactly how I proc my cosmic drive. So right here, I almost have it. I get it roughly around... <sighs> okay, so at the 10 minute mark, because I am fed, I get it, but I'm freaking sadly two AP away. So a lot of things can happen different. First off, if I got four kills, I get this activated and keep in mind guys i don't have the revolver or the blasting wand so that is why i'm actually shy but the supplement is kills of course now what i actually do here is i actually place a ward here just because i need two ap i would have gotten it if silas didn't take out my ward earlier you can see that there's no blue thing on the ground that means i didn't expire it's because he actually took it away with his uh red sweeper so very unfortunate but Either way, at the 10 minute mark, I would have gotten an insane power spike. Literally the most broken power spike in the game um, at 10 minutes if if it worked properly. But it is what it is. Now, I don't really care about showing anything else. You can already see that I activated it at 11 minutes. On average, if you're not insanely fed in this game, obviously it's Clash. Like I said, I'm communicating with my jungler um, and all that good stuff. So in general you're gonna activate this roughly 12 to 14 minute mark which is still really good and then i'm gonna showcase a little bit of like kind of the team fights just to showcase the power of the build and the amount of ap you have um because i feel as if that's pretty crucial so this is 20 minutes i go in here because my jungler got caught out a little bit so felt a little bit forced to go in Silas deal a good Malphite ult, but we kind of retaliate on the back, so it's not horrible. So you can see the amount of AP I have, like I just completely nuke their team right there. And then let's go into the game winning fight, which is right here. I don't want to make this video too long. So I was actually splitting here, I believe uh, I wanted my item, but my team picks a fight, which is fine. They actually lose this fight pretty hard, but I just come in and completely clean up. Beautiful three-man ults. Completely wipe everyone. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. They surrender here. Got a Quadra, 15-2-7 on a Clash game versus... Uh, I completely made this guy in, by the way. And by the way, in Clash, I versed against all D1s, um, so... This is high tier clash. Like, we faced against some master players. We faced against a lot of diamond players um, and like high diamond as well. So, this is not low elo. Like, trust me, guys, this build freaking works. So, yep. Like I said, I have 700 freaking AP with just like uh, four items, which is so broken. And then I get Void Staff, I'm at roughly around 800 with Insane Pen. And then that's pretty much full build. I get AP pot. Guys, nice. it's too broken. I don't know what else to tell you. It's just too broken. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you learned something through this video. I know that if I showcase this video, um, you know, Vlad win rate should hopefully get up because like I said, this build is absolutely broken. I don't really want Vlad to get nerfed, but guys, come on, this content, 
or this channel has been based around Vlad for so long, I do want to share the best tips for you guys. So I'm not going to keep this hidden tech for myself. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something through this gameplay. And also keep in mind for Ultimate Hunter, uh, I feel as if it's pretty important to keep in mind. Is it actually at 73? That's weird. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. Huh. Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> this game, I did not actually go Ultimate Hunter. Because I haven't played on this account too much. It's actually in D1. Three wins away from Master, so I've been just practicing on another account. This game, I actually went Ravenous. <laughs> so that is why. But you can see the effectiveness of Ultimate Hunter. In my other test video, or not test video, but test game, where I've practiced this, my old cooldown was at a 58% or 58 second. So you're cleaving roughly 15 seconds, which you might be like, oh, that doesn't mean a lot, but it actually does. It really does add up. And Ravenous, in no way has Ravenous helped me win this sort of game. So, I mean, it was kind of helpful in laning, but then again, being able to ult just freely in lane was also helpful as well. So either way, that is it for the video. If you found out who you feel, like I said, make sure to smash the like button. Join the Crimson Pack by subscribing to the channel. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Chen Chen out.